Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to Detroit Become Human. Where did we finish? I saved some lovers from a love club and Kara escaped a psycho guy with a new friend named Luther. Marcus, I uh, kind of ruined his chances with Jericho. Let's continue. Oh, transportation. seen snow before it's pretty it's slowing us down but at least we won't meet any humans along the way well you could still meet humans oh I can't talk to her oh can I no all right um it's a good thing Zlatko had a car. Probably a, not a good thing I to be in it. walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? I overheard androids Zlatko captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Uh... Was there a way that he... Malfunction detected. Oh, shit. Emergency brakes activated. Malfunction? Even in the future, cars are shitty? This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. Oh, I, I got, I got new clothes. Oh, they're cute. I look super cute. All right, malfunction. Do you think it's robbers trying to? Someone's gonna steal the kid. Should probably like look around. Mm. Oh, maybe that's why it was in the garage for so long. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. Can't you just push the car? Oh. Can't you just push the car? I mean, I don't think it would be that difficult for them. A cabin over there? No. Find shelter. I don't really want to leave the car though. Can you run, Kara, please? I think he would steal the kid? I don't think so. There's lights here though. And they don't look like Pirates Cove, an amusement park. It could be fun. Over there. I don't think it would be very warm though.
The gates just be open. We need to uh check abandoned buildings. Oh. To find shelter. Yeah, I we know. We have to get out of the cold. Yeah, I know, girl. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Okay. So what do we got? We got Where am I? Entrance. You are here. Well, there's a clown place. There's just a regular house. Another place. A ship. Castle up there. Uh, I mean, we could probably live in the ship. Is there anything else I need to do here? I don't think so, no. Coming up to some abandoned buildings. That's the boat, I think, over there. Oh. Find anything? Damage no. shelter. No place we could spend the night. Over there. What is that? Should I go talk to him? Hey! Oh. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties! You're gonna have a whale of a time! Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties! You're gonna have a whale of a time! Just left him there. Okay. All right. So, where did we check now? We were here. So, I, nothing had it there. It's all broken. Tavern food. Okay. Let's go try the food place. Uh, this should be the tavern over here, I think. Is that someone moving up there? No. Mm. Too small. Well, you guys don't need to be in there. Well, maybe they do if that android actually became frozen. This place is falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Building is probably not very safe either. But is it safe inside? Oh shit, there's another thing I could unlock. But what was it? Can I not unlock it now? I know this. 
Yeah. What if the whole building fell down? Where'd you go? It's not sounding good. Detroit today. SSS Iowa missing. American vessel last seen in the Arctic Sea. Canada, where the air is clean and the welcome is always warm. Destroyer class submarine, the USS Iowa, has disappeared in the polar waters. An inquiry is underway, but President Warren has made no secret of her suspicion that the Russians are behind it. All Android band tipped for music prize. I'll make the fire here. Oh shit, okay. That way we won't be smoked out. Okay, I'm gonna go... Please don't see anyone. Did something happen? Oh, there's an android in here, RA9. Look at that. No, you can't. Does she know? She's seen the RA9 stuff, that's for sure. Alice? She was just there. Oh. I'm hearing some like crazy music in the background. Do you hear it? Is it just me? Am I just very anxious? Check Luther's bag. There's a gun. Oh no. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. No. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on. Oh, I feel like really Let's worried about the gun. It's RA9 on the wall, so I'm thinking the only person that would come in here would be an android. We should probably turn these lights off, I think. Oh, I can't. Okay. Mm. 
sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Kara? Ah, uh, God. I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. Uh, unicorn. This is a story about a unicorn that... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. Oh. This is a story about a little girl. Who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... Deep down, she knew she couldn't. Then, she met a robot. Who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. a place where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... But they stuck together, so they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... Another robot, who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? Oh. They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Who, who would choose realistic in that? have happy endings. Do you not want this? life isn't like that. Oh shit. Well, it's a story, right? Time to sleep. Okay, she you still like she still like the story. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Aww. Yes, of course. Good night, Alice. Sleep tight. So anything else? Nope, just that book. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Knowing. You have a long walk tomorrow. You better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Okay. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. Oh my god, don't kill him. But I, don't I really know like what him. It really means yet. Kara. Have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Mm. No. No, what are you talking about? Uh-oh. Uh They're androids. They're frozen androids. Grab gun? I don't think we need to grab the gun. What's this? Put out fire? Let's put out fire, because maybe they just want the heat. Uh, 
Uh, question. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone. Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. I didn't think so. We're just like you. Oh. Our name is Jerry. Hi, Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. Oh. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. Oh. What are you doing here? We're running away. We're looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. Oh. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good come idea. Come on, Tara. Oh. I don't think you have any choice. Oh, uh, okay. So wait, what what was the purpose of putting out the fire? Uh, wait. Okay, do I need to bring anything with me? He left his bag there. That's not cool. Come on. Let's go, little girl. Join Jerry's outside. Be our guest. <gasps> oh, you guys are so cute. Okay. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. I mean, it's pretty clean for something that is like worn out, I guess. Right? And then it explodes. And then every- or she just disappears on the other side. Why wouldn't you stay on the thing with her? I just don't trust anyone in this game. <laughs> I guess it's showing she can have it's family, even if they're not smile. really your family. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. I really want to know why I'm putting those fire. I thought that they were rushing in because they were cold, but then I remembered, wait, they're robots, they're probably not cold. Uh, question? No one put out fire. Yeah, because that's ridiculous. <laughs> Whatever, I did it. Okay, next one. Hank, wait. Oh, that's right. We let the girls... I let the girls off. Well, they kind of ran away after they beat my ass. Is it going to be heart-to-heart -heart time with Hank? No one goes outside? Sentry. The mysterious Mr. Komsky. What happened to the man of the century? In 2028, Kamsky was our man of the century. His creations transformed our world. Androids didn't just revolutionize the economy. They changed the way we live, restructured our family life, and altered the balance of society forever, whether it for good or bad. Oh, he disappeared. Shortly after, uh, he had disappeared, ousted as the CEO of Cyberlife and living in obscurity outside the media glare. The man of the century has left the very world that he recreated. Oh, what if he's an uh, uh, android? Today, sources claim Kaminsky, Kemsky is living 
in a luxurious villa by the water somewhere on the outskirts of this beloved Detroit, refusing all visitors and spending his time exclusively with androids. And the most interesting question remains unanswered. What is in the mind of Mr. Kamsky? Okay. That's a nice floor. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna, maybe he's RA9. What does RA9 mean? Oh. Reg. I thought it said reg. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said, I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Oh, I guess before his son died? Uh... Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions? Or is it just you? Probably just me. Uh do it. I'm going to do it. You're so determined to kill yourself. Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. <coughs> Excuse me. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Oh yeah, he, he probably wanted them to get away, and that's why he's feeling weird. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. Uh... They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. Oh, I didn't want to say that. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? I didn't want to. Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? Uh, what's all this? No. Truth? I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Uh oh. But are you afraid to die, Connor? <laughs> um. Logical. You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation and have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Well, I got my memory Android back before. Heaven? Um. You know you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. <gasps> oh my god, I did not. <laughs> I did not mean to press that. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. 
You think Fuck. you're so fucking smart. I'm not trying to be... Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. <gasps> Path Where are you going? Get drunker. Was this just a bump in the road I to our to think. best friendship? -ness? Uh, all right. Hank left Connor alone. Damn, I wish I could redo it. I, I want him. Okay. Uh, one more, and then that's going to be it for this episode. Neutral. Yeah, because they hate me, because I suck. I wonder how long I've been on the run. I mean, not me, uh, not Marcus, but Kara. Oh, he's seeing how it's not fair. Bullies. was looking too because he had a red so maybe he, he got mad Fuck. we can't stay silent anymore it's time humans heard what we had to say you know they'll never listen to us and revealing ourselves will put us in danger if we want freedom we need to have the courage to ask for it yeah that's the only way yeah what do you want to do Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. This is some Avengers shit. Okay. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. Ooh. Where, where do they get their clothes from? We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Okay, access 47th floor. Oh, excuse me, guys. Oh. Sorry. Channel 16 Studios. Emily Wilson. Credit card. Is that your credit card? No. Parking badge. Car registration. Waiter service. Water service interruption. Friday, November 8th. Is that that's today? 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Oh, her boobie? Elizabeth Wilson. What was her daughter's name again? Fuck, I forgot. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. This is Safe Road School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> Creepy. Human, wait, wait, what? Uh, distract human supervisor. 
Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. Oh, shit. So he just touches people. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Ooh. Thanks. Oh, shit. So I have, like, maybe I'm RA9. No, you can't be an RA9 because it's already on the walls, dummy. Use elevators. Oh, what is this? What are we looking at? Okay, uh, express elevator, floor forty seven. Oh. Okay, um. Oh god, look up. Forty-seven floor. Oh, shit, there's a person right there. Okay, find package in men's bathroom. Bathroom, bathroom's this way. Uh, I'm so glad I get to stop and like look around. Ooh, this is a big building. Studio, newsroom bathroom maintenance server room meeting room okay cafeteria studio studio fire escape the bathroom has to be this way right Oh, there it is. Okay. Wait, this isn't the bathroom. I thought this said bathroom. Oh. There we go. Bathroom. Uh, it's an in men's bathroom, but these all look like it's unisex, so. Look at you. Looking good. So who put something in here? Yeah, who put something here? It's paper? Oh, he looks cute in this too. Damn. Open. Utilities. Uh, I don't think I saw a utility room. Uh, 
Another bathroom. Server room. Server room. Cafeteria. Cafeteria. Where's the utility room? It has to be here because I would have passed it. I don't see it. Where is it? Where's the utility room? Oh, find the utility android. Is this a utility android? No. Okay, I, yeah, I remember I saw another android that looked like me, but where did I see it? He's not an android. No android. No android. Server room. No android. He's gotta be here, because that's where his thing is. There he is. Okay. I need your help. But now, is this free will, or... Or am I just... kind of taking control of anyone I want? Open fire escape. I think it was this way. I love this. Look at me and my little cart. I'm not very good at driving the cart, but... Hey, hey, hey! I guess this is kind of true, like, if, if you're an android and your job is just to fix stuff, you could totally pretend to be an android and get away with so much shit. Stopping. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Uh, okay. Well, they were just looking at something here, so. You get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Okay. Uh... So, am I trying to, like, set up a broadcast saying... What am I doing now? To, like... Um, let the world know about androids and how we're we're changing. <sighs> my uh, 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 my buttons are not working very well. I would blame the controller, but it's probably me.
Oh. So they went here for no reason. Ladies first. Oh no. Can I fall and die? Triangle square circle. Triangle square circle. Triangle square circle. Oh, oh, oh. Why are you walking on the D? It's pretty bait, I think. Serious music has come back. Does she have her own too? Under construction. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Yeah, Come she's on. an android. Let's get the others. Wait, well, let's see what this door is first. this now then. Oh. How did they get there? Let's do this. What are we doing? St oh. to the main access corridor. Uh-oh. Something's gonna happen. Life and death, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta remember. Hmm. No killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Oops. Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Deal with guards. Awesome. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you ask me. Hey, do you understand what I'm saying? Call Central, fast! Central, we what? got armed intruders, sent! Ah! Uh I- what- what else could I have done? Oh no no no, don't kill him! They know we're here now, you better be fast! Fuck! Simon's been shot! I'm okay! I can keep going! We don't have much time! I wish I had like, proper instructions, like... I guess I was supposed to walk towards the elevator?
Can you heal him? Where am I supposed to go? Anyways, enter the broadcast room. Is it this one? So I should have shot them in the first place? Wait. Oh, I don't want to ambush. Hold on. What's the other way? Oh my god, please, can you run? Can you please just run? For once. I'm running out of time. I need you to fucking run. Okay, so this doesn't even work, so it doesn't matter. So I gotta ambush them. Okay, so maybe I didn't have a way to pass them. Maybe... Maybe North just had to come in and beat them up. I didn't want to kill anyone. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up, move. Order the android operators aside. What does this say? Okay. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Stay in front of where's Josh? Josh, 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 my man, where are you? Okay. Fuck, I'm sending the wrong fucking way. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Ah, uh, I don't I don't know what I'm gonna say. The future of our people. Great. Marcus, your face. Uh... Tell me when you're ready. What am I gonna say? I wanna live, I wanna coexist with humans. Ready. Close your eyes. Created machines to be your slaves. Not, you not made them obedient. Not the docile, right way to turn. Ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people, and the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. Equal rights? Equal rights. End of slavery. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes mm. against humans. Yes. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Yeah. Uh... Territory. I guess we could go move. Means of... We demand control of all Android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. Yeah. Do I want to be determined or peaceful? We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. 
This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's a good speech. They're oh, coming. fuck. Let's go! Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus! No! Go without me! Simon! Help him! What are you doing? Hurry! Go, 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 go! I've never touched the button more in my life! Go, 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 go! Take it off. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. Just take your leg off. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. <sighs> he won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. No. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. We can't leave him behind. Yeah. Whatever, North. You hate me, but... Simon, we gotta go. I'm sorry. Yeah, he can do Let's it himself. Go. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Could I have gone back for him? And hacked into the broadcast Sorry guys, this is my news network, channel 16. Well, Of course like my PlayStation stopped recording at the most important time. And demanded equal rights for Andrew. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few oh, in different this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. Their extravagant demand that android production plants be put under their control is especially is this striking. Is an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us after what happened today can we still trust our machines well you treat us like shit so all right sorry for the weird cutoff guys <laughs> my playstation only lets me record for an hour oh i wish i wish i didn't have to lose simon was there a way to bring simon probably if i if I just shot the guards. Leave Simon. Simon can't continue. Run to jump on the roof. Was there another way we could have gone? No, it's pretty linear. Alright, well. Thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, let me know how you did in this episode. And let me know if my path is oh, 49%. Oh, maybe I should start killing people. Sorry, I can't do it. Leave Simon. 49. So a lot of people shot him. But you guys left him with a gun. So it's cool. He could shoot himself. And you know what? At least maybe that will put me into a better light. Because they're like, oh, they left someone important behind. Knowing that his mind could be you know, deciphered and read, and all the information could be picked up. That doesn't seem like an Android thing to do, right? Right? Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I feel like I messed up a lot in this episode, but not as much as the last episode. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.